What's up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, what's up? My name is Jeremy. I'm a real estate broker and investor here in Hawaii and I make videos about real estate and entrepreneurship. In today's video, we're going to talk about how this one thing contributed to my success in real estate and helped me make hundreds of thousands of dollars and why it is so important for you if you are in real estate, investing, or any other business for that matter. This one thing that I'm talking about is called networking. But before we go into all of that, I'm going to have to ask you to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. And while you're at it, feel free to network with me and follow me on all my other social media platforms as well. See what I did there? No? Okay, well, let's get this video started. <laughs> all right, so the first time I ever heard about networking was actually when I joined the Kappa Sigma fraternity while in college. Honestly speaking, when I was a freshman in college, I was just looking to party a lot and have a lot of fun. And I knew that by joining a fraternity, there would be all kinds of fun. But after joining the fraternity and you know, as I got older, I soon realized that you know, being a part of a fraternity is more than just party. You actually become a part of a network of a bunch of people all around the country and even parts of the world. This network can be very beneficial to you. Let's be real, this is a people world, you know, and yes, skill sets and having skill sets are very, very important, but you know, despite having skills, networking and knowing the right people will definitely get you very far in life. During my time in college, while in the fraternity, I would always hear about bros getting internships and even jobs because they knew someone in the company that also happened to be a part of our fraternity. It's because of things like this and you know these kinds of situations that you're able to get your foot in the door easier than other people. I could be in like a whole different part of the country or even a different part of the world and you know, if I meet someone and they happen to be a Kappa Sig, I might be like, oh my God, you're a Kappa Sig, I'm a Kappa Sig. And then boom, there's an instant connection right there. And who knows what that connection could lead to. One crazy Kappa Sig story that I have is that I actually initiated into the University of California, Irvine. And it is there where I met, you know, these super cool, young, aspiring DJs named Derek Anderson and Scott Land. And if you're a big EDM music lover, you'd know that those two people are known as the EDM artist Slander. I think it's super cool to have seen them when they just first started to all their success and how they are now, which is, you know, headlining huge festivals and playing in front of huge crowds of thousands of people. And whenever they come to Hawaii and perform, you know, sometimes I get to link up with them and hang out backstage, which I think is just so cool of them to do. You know, for someone like me who used to once really want to be a DJ and who is also a huge fan of theirs, you know, I, I'm just super grateful of that. So now moving forward to when I began my real estate career and was super young in the business, I used to go to networking events. Networking events are basically like meetups specifically for other people to meet new people. I was told by many experienced agents that you should go to these kinds of events because you could make new friends in the industry and potentially find new clients. I really loved going to all of these events because of those reasons that I mentioned, but more so because there was always free food and drinks. I mean, I was young and I was broke, so if there was ever an opportunity where there was free food, especially free drinks, then I would definitely be there networking. But in all seriousness, thanks to networking and all these events, as a real estate agent, I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars, but it wasn't like that in the beginning. I do want to mention that in the beginning that after going to a couple of these events, I noticed that I would only make a solid two to three, you know, good connections with other people. And I thought, okay, how can I maximize the amount of people that I met at these events. Then I figured, okay, instead of going to these events, I'm going to host these events. Long story short, I ended up teaming up with some friends, one of them being my friend Alex, and we hosted these big networking events multiple times a year. And these were so big that some of our events had about, I think like 300 people in attendance. And yes, there was definitely a lot of free food and alcohol. But like I said before, it's because of these events 
that we hosted that I was able to meet so many new people, make so many clients and help sell so many homes and make a lot of income. Now you might recognize Alex because he was actually one of my partners on the first house I flipped. So you see, if it wasn't for networking, I wouldn't have met Alex and he wouldn't have been my partner on the flip. And who knows, maybe I wouldn't have been able to flip this house in the first place. So fast forward to now that I have, you know, a few years under my belt as a real estate agent. Today, I'm a real estate broker and now an investor. And guess what? I am still looking for those opportunities to go to networking events and also meet other people. In fact, I am looking to, you know, step into rooms where I am the dumbest person there. Because when you're the dumbest person in the room, that means the room to grow and learn is like exponentially infinite, if that even makes sense. I don't know, I just made up that term, but you get the idea. If you were to walk into a room or, you know, go to some kind of event where you are the dumbest person there, think of like what life-changing things you can learn. You know, think of the kinds of conversations you'll hear, you know, the topics being discussed. It's literally life-changing. And that's why I'm not afraid to be the dumbest person in the room. Now, when you take this approach of networking and you apply it to social media, there are no limits to your networking abilities. That's how I began my journey as a real estate investor. You know, now as an investor, it still applies. And you know, in fact, the only reason why I was able to start flipping homes in the first place was because I got, you know, really great advice from a real estate investor known as Alex Camacho. And I wouldn't have met Alex Camacho if it wasn't from my friend, Stacy. I talk about the story in the video I made talking about my first flip. If you haven't seen that yet, I'll put a link to that video in the description below. But since meeting those two people, I've also met so many other great real estate investors through social media. So as you can see, you know, networking, especially with social media is so powerful because you never know who you're going to meet and you never know what meeting that person can do for you. And after seeing the power of networking, you know, I try my best to help other people network as well. If I know someone who is, you know, trying to pursue some kind of business or endeavor, and I know someone else, that can help them or be helped by them, you know, and bringing them together would be a mutually benefiting relationship or, you know, friendship, whatever, you know, I will do my best to bring those two together. For all I know, the cure for cancer could be solved all because I connected these two people together. And then I could say that I helped cure cancer. <laughs> okay, I mean, kind of exaggerating, but you know, you never know. And it doesn't have to be, you know, just business or real estate, you know, this applies to all aspects of life. One example is this crazy story, you know, so for those that don't know, I used to be a DJ, you know, someone who was really trying to become a full-time artist playing at raves and festivals like Coachella and EDC. But anyway, this crazy story, you know, it was my last year of college. It's spring break. I'm in Rosarito, Mexico, and it was a wild time. You know, like there was DJs, there was parties, there was lots of alcohol, you know, this was the epitome of MTV Spring Break. So I'm in the crowd, you know, I'm watching this DJ perform and the DJ's playing a super awesome song, you know, and I'm feeling it and I'm jamming out. And then the guy next to me, you know, he's he's feeling it too and he's jamming out too. And I'm like, yeah, and he's like, yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, for some random reason, we just started talking about music. And I mentioned to him that, oh, like I'm a DJ, you know, I'm from Hawaii and I love to DJ and I'm trying to make it. And, he tells me he's actually a tour manager for this artist known as Arm & Hammer. So when he says that, I'm like, holy crap, no way. So we just keep talking, we exchange Instagrams and you know, we stayed in touch. And then fast forward, maybe like a year later, I get this text from him and he hits me up and he's like, yo dude, so Arm & Hammer's playing a show in Honolulu. Do you wanna open for them? And I was like, holy crap, do I wanna open for them? Hell yeah, I wanna open for them, that's crazy. So because of that, I was able to play at their show as the direct opening DJ playing right before their set. Not just once, but twice. I ended up doing it again when they came to Honolulu the next year. And all of this happened because I met my friend Daniel in the middle of a busy crowd at a party in Mexico while on spring break. How crazy is that? So there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and loved all my crazy networking stories from the past. You know, I hope you got to see the power and, you know, and understand the power of networking and how crazy it is. As you can see, it is truly such an amazing tool that can help you accelerate any part of your life, not just business, you know, you know, for me, 
it really helped me with real estate investing and also other parts of my life like music and when I was trying to become a DJ. It's really true when they say that your network is your net worth. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.